Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin <laughs> hardly moving at all, but we, we look a little bit like we could be rolling over a bit here. Now I explained in yesterday's video already what I think is developing here. Now, of course, there are different interpretations possible. Of course, different wave counts as well, but I always try to show you the one or two most likely ones that could evolve here. Um, and my view is that we are here in a wave two, in a sub wave at the moment. Um, how does this all work together? Well, in my opinion here from the low at um, 17,500, we moved up in a wave one here in purple, then came down in a wave two in an ABC wave. Yeah, ABC wave pattern, a corrective wave pattern. Now we are obviously then in this wave three here in purple. That should get to 26,500. That is also the region roundabout where we currently see here the 50 day moving average coming down. So a lot of cryptos are currently um, struggling with that moving average. So that will probably provide resistance as well. And by the time we get there, it's currently a bit higher. It's currently around 27,100. But by the time we get there, it will probably have come down a bit. Um, but within this wave three, obviously the wave three here in purple has sub waves as well. And it could very well be that we've seen the wave one already, we've seen the wave two, and we or we are in this wave two in white, and we will very soon enter that wave three here. Now, in terms of this wave two in which we probably still are, that's currently how it's looking like, where, where are we here? Well, so it looks like we came down here in this wave A, then moved up in an overshooting wave B, I'm not really particularly keen and happy about this, kind of wave pattern, but um, I think this is how it's looking like, overshooting wave B, and now we are coming down in this wave C. Now, again, a bit difficult, but what we could have seen here is a wave one down and the wave two to the upside here. And now we might be working here on this wave three. Alternatively, it could just develop as some kind of a diagonal pattern, it looks a bit like a maybe a rare one which might be developing here, a bit like an expanded, um, expanding diagonal, maybe um, here, the, uh, how you would call it normally, like a descending broadening wedge. So that's how it's currently coming across. Um, and that might be where then the wave C is finished. I already gave you yesterday key support area. Um, first target was here the low of the wave A, well, we reached that, but I think we will probably find um, support a little bit lower, maybe here in the region, of around the wave four in yellow. So that's sort of the, the key one around 20,800. We haven't reached that yet. And if we go below that, then probably the wave two low here around 20,200. It's a bit of a zone here, yeah, but that will be the, the next support. But I think it will be that would be quite a long wave C. So I think it, it might really be that we come only a little bit lower here in this um, descending broadening wedge, and then we'll break out here to the upside. That is currently how it is looking like for me. Um, in addition to that, a descending <coughs> broadening wedge, <coughs> sorry, you would normally expect it to go to the upside as well. Of course, it's never guaranteed, but you know, normally said like in the, in 60, 65 to 70% of cases, you would expect it to break to the upside. It is um, generally considered like a, a descending wedge, yeah, a bullish wave pattern where um, yeah, you would normally just break out to the upside, but of course they can go down and you never really know until the breakout has eventually happened. Now we, it looks like we see another bearish reaction to that resistance level up here. Oops. And we will come down once more to support. Now support level here, depending on when it will reach it is sort of that $20,800 level, maybe even a little bit lower. Um, that is now what the next hours will show us. But overall, after the wave C is complete, you know, we would expect it to rise to the upsides, break through this resistance area here that we tried to get through yesterday, but failed. Um, but then the price would go up, go through this one here above 21,700 roughly, and then go into this other target area here or this resistance area. This is really, really important this one we haven't come close to it yet it is located between 23k and 23.3k and um, if we go through this it will just get much less likely that this whole arrangement here is still a corrective move which means we will we would get down 
still once more and make a lower low compared to those 17,500. That is still possible and actually still very likely at the moment, yeah? But as I said, if we get above that resistance level and hold it, this will be a very important indication that the downtrend may be over for now, yeah? Which means the, the overall low is already in. Now, if that will become a rally to an all-time high, or if that will only become a rally to maybe 45 to 50K before we come down once more, that is what the structure will need to show us. It is way too early for that now, but it would indicate that we are on our way to some kind of a rally, to some kind of upside. But first we need to get above that critical resistance area. Until then, we are still below key, key resistance, absolutely important resistance. And um, yeah, we could very well bounce off there and still make another lower low. And you could still count this Elliott wave pattern here until then with a very high likelihood as a corrective one um, where we're just doing here a wave four and then come down in a wave five once more. However, at the moment it is looking interesting. Yeah, so far those wave patterns work out. It's a bit slow on the Bitcoin chart. Yeah, and the weekend um, movements weren't that exciting. And also here the weekly candle close wasn't that exciting. So that actually confirms that we are here in a bit of a corrective wave. Um, and then we are waiting here for the move in a wave three to the upside. So for now we are coming down as it seems a bit um, in this pattern. And then we are waiting for the breakout. And the breakout here of this pattern, again, depending on when it happens, let's say it would happen at some point today, then you might be looking at a breakout above here roughly 21,000, 230 or something yeah it depends because the descending trend line and it always depends on when such a breakout actually occurs yeah and that is really what we can talk about for bitcoin at the moment not too many news since yesterday's update nevertheless i think worth mentioning that we are possibly here in this expanding uh diagonal and which is usually a rare pattern but it happens bitcoin did it before many times and um we might finish with this wave down now, that C wave, which is currently happening here. And if we go much lower, or even if we go below the low here of um, 19,750, then the other alternative would be that this higher level wave two was never finished. Yeah, and then we'll probably land here in this yellow target, in this yellow target area between 18,000 800 and 19,600. This would be the alternative. That would mean more time for recovery. And it would just take a little bit more time until that um, white wave three plays out. Um, yeah, or that purple actually. That purple then would have not, not started yet. In that case, we would just still be in this larger A, B, C. And from there, we would then start from that yellow target area. But Bit too early to say that. First of all, we look for rising prices here from this pattern. Yeah, first of all, lower and then rising prices above the high of the wave B, which would be above 21,870. All right, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.